Mike Perlack here with a third installment of a uh, YouTube journal entry for you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it, now that I'm getting my, now that I'm making my house my home, you know, I've been living there two years now, it's time for me to get my things out of totes in the garage and, you know, and ha have, them, have a proper place in my home. Um, <clears throat> and anybody who's seen the videos of me using my leg press in the garage might have been wondering what all those totes stacked up behind the leg press were. Well, now you know. Anyway, so I'm in the process of tr be finally turning my house into my home. And it occurred to me, you know, I have a pretty extensive DVD collection as well as CD collection. And I could use those DVDs to maybe make some interesting uh, YouTube journal entries video journal entries on, uh, on this channel. So I was uh, looking at the one where I keep all my uh, movies and politically motivated movies and documentaries and it came across a few and um, because when I watched them years ago I made little notes um, inside the, and put the little notes inside the DVD so in many ways my DVDs are kind of like uh, um, journals <laughs> because of all the little notes I put in here. There's one I uh, came across called The Undefeated, a <clears throat> uh, film by uh, Stephen K. Bannon about um, that uh, Alaskan lady there, um, Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. I, I actually had to pause and take a second to remember her name, but... Uh, and I opened it up, and sure enough, I got some pretty interesting no notations that I took in here from when I watched it. Judging by the notes, I guesstimated that uh, I probably watched this DVD after I purchased it from the Salvation Army, it looks like, for $1.99 or less, depending on, because sometimes the colors of the tags are half off or 75% off. Anyways, um... And there's some interesting notations that I took um, when I uh, originally, when I watched it back in 2015-16. I say that because in the notation, I actually make reference referring to Donald Trump as an orange-haired clown. <laughs> I've stated on this channel before, I did not vote for Trump the first time around, I... I, I wasn't happy about voting for Hillary, but I sure the heck wasn't crying. I've told this story before. When she lost, my exact reaction, well, this should be interesting. And by golly, it sure was. <laughs> A lot of things I was ignorant to until, until that point. So anyways, back to my notes from 2015, 2016, around there when I uh, originally watched this DVD, documentary film DVD called Undefeated about Sarah Palin. Notation number one. Wow. Unlike Texas, the people who made Alaska's state constitution, the people who made Alaska's state constitution made it so ownership of oil found was in the hands of the people at large. Such a state system would give Bush a run for, the, for his money. <laughs> These are notes I took back in you know, like roughly 2015-2016. Alaska needs this system for its economic survival. Now I understand why John McCain sought her out, and I applaud his effort to bring credibility back to the Republican Party. In parentheses, I wrote, despite unsuccessfully. Although, uh, maybe now his efforts weren't in vain. I mean, <laughs> a, lot of the, a lot of the content creators I watch on social media, been, have been watching for five years, are finally getting financial support, moral support. The world is changing. People's eyes are waking up to what is really going on in this country. John McCain, maybe your efforts weren't in vain. This isn't in the notes, but in addition to this DVD, I do recall years ago also listening to books on CDs, the book that she wrote, and I remember her saying on, in that book that oh, a lot, a lot that with John McCain would constantly be like, "Hey, don't take it seriously. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. Just 
Just just go with the flow. Don't take anything seriously. Just have fun. And that he's according to her when when I listened to her book years ago, um, that was her impression of John McCain. Like I said, like but maybe that's probably why. It, uh, he really didn't expect to win the presidency. He just wanted to bring, try to bring, do his part to bring credibility back to the Republican Party. I wrote, despite unsuccessful, at the time I wrote this in 2015, 2016. But, uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe John McCain is very successful, because now the world is finally is opening their eyes to what is really going on in this country. Obviously, at the time I wrote this, I was still indoctrinated with the whole systemic racist BS. I wrote, uh, for the state of Alaska and Hawaii, I would guess that bigotry and racism is not as much of an issue and does not warrant big brother intervention when people depend on people for survival. Then I further wrote, unfortunately, Lyndon Johnson's great society was a social necessity. And we the people are paying for it now. Yeah. <laughs> in my wisdom, in my own God-given wisdom, when I wrote that little notation all those years ago, <laughs> I was on them because we sure are paying for it now, aren't we, folks? <laughs> this uh, second notation, uh, all I simply wrote was, whoever owned this DVD before me, I buy all my, 90% of my DVDs and CDs secondhand, uh, whoever owned this DVD before me probably was at the speech in Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was in Madison, Wisconsin at the time, uh, about the time that I probably watched this. Uh, or not at the time, because yeah, the, back during the um, Obama and McCain race. And then I just chimed in with a little side note. If it were not if it if it were not for my dry skin, I might have moved to Alaska. <laughs> yeah, many times in my life I actually have contemplated, hmm, could I live in Alaska? They say, and this isn't in my notes or anything, but I'm, I'm just recollecting now that they say if you're a woman looking for a good man, you probably want to move to Alaska <laughs> because apparently the ratio to men and women in Alaska, they're like a ton more men than, th than there are women in Alaska, apparently. <laughs> I just recall <laughs> reading that. Okay, the I don't want this video to be too long. Um, the final notation, and this is where, <laughs> yeah, my uh, um, being on the road to being a complete... Well, not really, because I, you know, even... I was, I was naive, but I wasn't that naive. But anyways, okay, last notation in this DVD. I am convinced John McClain did not count on or set out for winning the presidency, is what I meant. If he did, he would not have picked her, uh, Sarah Palin. He only sought to make history and shed light on the negative status quo in power. In my wisdom, <laughs> I don't to brag, but I wrote this. I wrote this back in 2015, 2016. Then I further wrote, I finally have an answer to my question. That's why I said this must have, this had to have been 2015, 2016, about the time Donald Trump announced his candidacy for presidency. So I finally got an answer to my question. And I flipped the notation over to further read. Why is this, or I'm quoting myself now, quote, orange-haired clown, unquote, unquote, the best the Republicans can do? Then, period, answer, colon, because the Republican, because of the Republican establishment. After viewing this, I might have voted Republican if it weren't, if it were anyone else, wow! See, this is just you know, this is how my mind was changing. I was definitely on the road to to uh, opening my eyes and seeing what's really going on in this world. Uh, and then I further wrote uh, his last little notation here: um, Ronnie's heart, talking about Ronald Reagan, may have been in the right place, but I think he lacked understanding to the darker side of human nature. 
that was just an opinion I was expressing at the time. Oh, anyway, okay, ten minutes. <coughs> I had a second one, but uh, I just, um, this was on the shelf, too. Um, I recall this being uh, Walmart, the high, this is a, a, a Robert Green wall film, a documentary film about Walmart, uh, the high cost of low prices. Um, <clears throat> I re I bought this at the at Goodwill or or no Salvation Army for two dollars and ninety nine cents, and less pink tags were half off or seventy five percent off that day, then less. But I recall seeing this in a catalog, in a DVD catalog, and making a mental note of it. And I was looking all over the the DVD for the disclaimer, but in the advertisement, I distinctly recall a disclaimer saying propaganda. <laughs> um, just talking about uh, the only notation I got in here is just one little notation I, where I wrote, "I see their point, but its success, Walmart's success, referring to, is only an example of catering to the moron masses." <laughs> At, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> a term that uh, um, that I I, uh, I I think I came up with myself. <laughs> um, then I also wrote, uh, at least they cannot finance legally a political agenda. And then today, after reading that, I put a little added a little notation. Or can they? <laughs> Question mark. Then I wrote two thousand four note. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this should be interesting to watch again at some point <laughs> when I have time, when I retire. But anyways, okay. <sighs> so, my extensive DVD collection will probably be a way to put out more, even more content <laughs> out there in the world. <laughs> Mike Perlack, thank you for your time. The orange-haired clown is more gray now. In light of recent events, it would probably be uh, inappropriate to refer to him in a negative light now. I just love it when the liberals eat their own and destroy themselves. I sure do. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I wanted to mention. A quote, a, uh, 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 and it's true. You want to make a conser you want to make a conservative mad? Tell him a lie. You want to make a liberal mad? Tell him the truth. Mike Perlack. Here's a little bonus for you. <laughs>